Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 48. How well do the privacy preservation tools used by many facial recognition apps work to scrub images of individuals' identity? Not well at all, according to a recent paper by the NYU Tandon School of Engineering. Privacy preservation tools often use generative adversarial networks, or PPGANs, to scrub images of individuals' identity. However, the researchers show it is possible to hide the sensitive identification data in PPGAN's images and later reconstruct the entire input images while satisfying current privacy checks. This research raises fundamental questions about the need for more rigorous privacy checks of PPGAN tools. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 31 for more. A new Gradient Flow survey report called AI in Healthcare explores how leading healthcare, biotech, and pharmaceutical companies are building AI and machine learning products and services. Gradient Flow conducted a survey to probe the challenges and considerations of AI in healthcare, which differ substantially from that of other business verticals. When asked what technologies they plan to have in place by the end of 2021, Close to half the companies cited data integration. About a third listed natural language processing and business intelligence. Over half of all respondents signaled clinicians among their target users for AI tools and technologies. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 31 for more. If you're looking for open source deep learning models for computer vision, check out OpenMM Lab from the Chinese company SenseTime. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Thank you.